right. Remember that last video where you separate it, or maybe you learned how to separate uh, first and last names and put them in separate columns? Uh, a student just did it without me showing how to do it, so it's doable. I'm quite impressed. I'm going to show you something else here. Now, we could, you know, if I'm, I'm creating an assignment, and I could go in here and put in some dates, uh, dates of birth. Now, I could do this manually, but it would be long to do, and, you know, in, in real life, you'd be putting real names and real dates. But in this case, I just want to create an assignment. I don't want to have to type in all these different dates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type this formula in to, uh, uh, to generate some dates between a certain range. So here's the formula. It's going to be R. It's basically rand. It's a random between... And I will put date, okay? So I need to put, that's a random what? What's well, going to be a date? And I'm going to say, let's see, I'm going to have people that were born in, uh, oh, nine, maybe as early as 1970, all right? Really old people like me. I'm older than that. Maybe, and so that's, you see how it says year, month, day? So I'm going to say, you know what? January 1st, 1970. And now I'm going to go with the other. The other is going to be, Basically, I'm going to top out, top off at, I mean, I'm not going to put 2017. Uh, they'd be born today. Uh, I'm going to put in, let's see, maybe people that were born, maybe they're three or four years old. So I'll go, how about 2013? Keep in mind, this is 2017 when I'm typing this in. It might be a little bit different. Uh, you know, if you're watching this in 2025, it might not make sense. But anyway, let's say on the last day of 2013, and notice that I have bracket, basically parentheses. I have these two that match, these two that match, but I still, I, I'm missing one. So I need to finish this thing off with another parentheses, okay? Just to, just to make sure the formula works. And hit enter. Look at that. Beautiful. You're saying, well, that's not a date. No, it's not. They are numbers. These, by the way, are the numbers, uh, number of days, um, uh, uh, I believe, since 1900, uh, some computers calculate them based on 1980. Uh, how you know this is how DOS was created? Was just, uh, the dates were all 1980. So in this case, anyways, long story short, these are the numbers, and I believe we can try. You know what? I'm going to try one here. I'm going to put in the date. Uh, I'm going to put the date zero or one. We'll find out for sure. I want to make sure that I'm making sense here, and then I'll, I'll fix Georgiana's name in a minute. And then I'm going to do what? Well, I'm going to format this. Right now it's formatted as just text. They are dates, but I'm going to set it up as a date. Now, rather than just pick date here, I'm going to go here, and I want it displayed a certain way. So I'm going to open up this little window. I'm going to go date, and let's say, oh, do I see anything that I want? Well, how about this one, March 14th? Basically, month, day or date, and year. Boom, and here we go. I was right. Day one is January 1st, 1900. I'm going to manually fix this one. Let's make this 1976, during the Montreal, just before the Montreal Olympics. Good to go. That's how you generate dates, so all between a range. Now, the formula will still show up here, okay? But we're good to go. Uh, if I move this down, it generates new dates, by the way. So using my fill handle, we'll say it will generate new dates based on this random date. It's just kind of picking them out of a hat. That's how you do it. I'm going to end the video here, and then we'll go to the next.